While the Corps of Engineers is also increasing the height of a sill to block the salt from moving farther upstream, that's like an up underwater levee, really. Today, we took a tour of this really massive dredge operation to build up the barrier. Paul Murphy also visited Port Sulphur, where a crucial water treatment plant just came back online. A giant dredge boat and its support vessels are now working around the clock, racing to raise an underwater barrier as a saltwater wedge flows up the Mississippi River. Right now, the leading edge of the salt is located near Jesuit Bend in Plaquemines Parish, about 20 river miles south of New Orleans. Back in July, we built this underwater levee essentially from bank to bank. Um, at a negative 55 foot elevation. Salt water topped the sill last week. Now the Army Corps of Engineers is raising the depth of the barrier another 25 feet. And we are essentially filling in from the bank uh, and towards the middle and leaving the, uh, the shipping channel open. It's about 620 foot section in the middle, which is gonna allow one way deep draft navigation to continue. Raising the underwater barrier will only slow the upriver progression of the salt water wedge. The salt water is now expected to reach many New Orleans area water intakes by mid to late October. This is just one piece of the mitigation strategy. This piece will slow the wedge down by about two weeks. That gives the Corps and area leaders more time to put plans in place to mitigate the impact of saltwater intrusion. A water treatment plant in Port Sulphur out since Hurricane Ida hit two years ago just came back online. At Friday, you know, we finally got it to start pushing water to the residents in the lower end. Plaquemines Councilman Mitch Jurisich says the plant is able to mix and treat water, some coming from Bell Chase, giving folks in the Boothville, Venice area relief from the impacts of salty water. People getting sick, you know, people, you know, skin, get skin, you know, irritations and stuff. And now we're looking, we're looking up, you know, just got to still beat the salt water to Bell Chase and hopefully we can you know, get everything in place prior to that. Plaquemines is also preparing its water plants to receive barge water from the core and the arrival of special filters capable of taking salt out of salt water. In Port Sulphur, Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News.